Hello friends! So I went to Target today and picked up a bunch of different nail polish, different uh, colors, different brands, and I just wanted to do some swatches and chat about the polishes that I got. So um, I've never tried OPI. Um, I'm actually just put on a couple of coats of uh, OPI. The color is You Don't Know Jacques. That's this one. Um, so, and I'm actually going to do the OPI matte coat. Um, I thought this would be a really pretty color with a matte coat. So we're going to try that. I'm just kind of letting it dry. Um, while I'm letting it dry, I figured that it was a good time to do some swatches. So I have my swatch sticks here. And the first one that we're going to do is this OPI color right here. It is Got the Blues for Red. Um, I've already opened up the polishes so that it's not too difficult for me to get them open um, with my wet nails. I don't want to smudge my nails or anything, but uh, got the blues for red uh, OPI. I thought this one was a really pretty maroon color. At least it was the lighting in the store. Um, the lighting at my house is a little bit different. It's still a really, pre really pretty red color, but it looked more like a burgundy to me in the store. And this is definitely not burgundy. Um, I probably have a couple of shades that are very similar to this one and I wanted like a dark burgundy. So maybe it'll be dark burgundy when I put, uh, the second coat on it. We'll see, but that's still... Uh, pretty. That's the first coat of that one. So we'll let that dry a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and do uh, this other OPI color, which is the You Don't Know. What is it again? You Don't Know Jacques. So we'll do this one. Move some of these out of the way here. All right, so again, I've never tried OPI before. I've heard really good things about OPI. So we'll see. It's not quite one coat coverage, but I think two coats will probably do nicely. All right, so there's the You Don't Know Jacques. This next one here is going to be uh, Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. And this one is the color Coral Reef. Uh, this is probably the only non-fall color that I got. Um, I have a coral color that I got through Maniology, um, but it's not quite the coral that I was wanting for the end of summer. Um, I saw this one, and this one looked really pretty in the bottle, so I'm hoping that it's uh, just as pretty on the nail. Um, in my lighting down here, it probably looks a little more orange than what I would like. But my lighting is a little off down here, so probably quite pretty um, in other lightings. But there's that one, not totally one coat, but two coats should do very nicely. This next one is also Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. This one is Mellow Yellow. I've been looking for a really good yellow to do um, sunflowers. My brother uh, passed away about four and a half years ago, and he uh, loved sunflowers. It was actually the only flower that he liked. Uh, so his funeral, we had sunflowers. We take sunflowers to the cemetery. Um, so I've been looking for a good yellow to do a sunflower theme. Um, and I think that this is a good sunflower yellow. Um, you know, again, not one coat, but two coats should do nicely. Possibly three coats with that yellow we'll definitely see. All right, this next one that I got is Essie. Um, I only have the two Essie colors so far, so I'm excited to try another Essie color. This one is on mute, and it's a dark gray. I'm excited to try this one. I like the Essie brushes because they're, um, they are thicker 
And the other Essie color that I have uh, is definitely a one coat coverage. And it looks like this one is no different. That is gorgeous. In fact, if I don't like this brown, I may switch it out for that gray because that's just really pretty. Love my Essie colors. Essie is a little more on the expensive side when it comes to uh, department or drugstore uh, type uh, nail polishes, but um, it, with it being one coverage, I think it's it's kind of worth it. All right, so this next one is CND Vinylux. So I've never heard of this brand before, but uh, the colors I thought were really pretty, and they're the, kind of the muted fall colors that I'm wanting for this time of year. And supposedly this is uh, one coat. It's a two-step process. So you do this, and then you do their top coat. Um, so that tells me that this is one coat coverage. So we're going to put it to the test. This color is Thistle Thicket, number 184. So it's just a light gray. So we will see if this is indeed one coat. This is actually the most expensive uh, that I got. Uh, if you'll see here, the brush is a little bit thicker. So that's kind of nice. It looks like the nail polish is definitely on the thicker side. Definitely not one coat though. Almost one coat, like pretty close to one coat. But not not quite. And it's kind of kind of streaky. I don't know that I'm thrilled with it. But we'll see. Okay. All right. And then the last one that I got here is also uh, CND Vinylux. I loved this color. I thought this color was beautiful. This is Denim Patch. That's Denim Patch number 226. And I thought this color was just so super pretty. It's just the perfect fall blue. So let's go ahead and try this one. Maybe it's just the lighter of the other one that makes that one not such a one coat. We'll see if it, this one is redeemed. All right, this one seems to be a little more opaque than the other one. You can see there, definitely a little more opaque. It looks like I'm probably gonna need to do one more coat because if I were to look at this in the light, you see right here over on this side, that's definitely not fully covered. And then the more that it's kind of settling into the swatch stick, the more it's definitely not one coat. So it says it claims that it's a two-step and it's like 12 bucks or something like that for just the bottle of nail polish. So I was hoping, uh, especially with the SE being um, the one coat uh, at $9, that this would also be one coat, but it's definitely not looking like it so um let's go ahead and put the second coat on everything and see how that changes the colors this is dry now on the opi so this is the opi the color again was got the blues for red so we'll try this and see how this works on the second coat still not a deep red but that second coat does cover quite nicely. As you can see there, covers very nicely on that second coat. I think I've already got some other reds like this though, so that doesn't completely thrill me that I have another red that's very similar. But uh, that's okay. It's all right. Okay. That's kind of the, the price that you pay, the risk that you take when you go in and buy new colors from a new brand. All right. So this one is the OPI. This is the color that I'm wearing right now. This one is the You Don't Know Jacques. And it's pretty. With that uh, second coat there, looks like I missed a little bit of a spot right here. 
Definitely pretty with the second one. I think it's going to look really pretty with that matte coat over it on my nails. But I like that it's a good fall brown. Nice uh, deep taupe color almost. Alright. Again, that one was You Don't Know Jacques. Okay. Next, we're going to do the second coat of the Sally Hansen. Again, this one was the only non-fall color that I got. This is the Coral Reef, Coral Reef from Sally Hansen Hard Nails Extreme Wear. I have some other Sally Hansen Hardware or Extreme Wear Hard Nails, um, and I really like those. They're inexpensive. It's like $2.49 at Target for these bottles. So even if you need to do three coats on some of them, I think it's somewhat worth it if you like the color. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure I like this color, at least not in this lighting. I think it'll be pretty for spring. It's a nice, pretty spring coral, but probably not the summer coral that I was looking for. All right. So let's go ahead and put the lid back on this one. Next, we have the Sally Hansen Mellow Yellow. And this one I got to do sunflower themes because I thought this was a really pretty yellow for sunflowers. So this one is like more of like a spring summer one, but uh, if combined with the right other colors, it's a good fall yellow as well. Definitely not even a two coat though. I might have to do three coats on this one. Because that's just not, you can see right here where it's still showing through a little bit. So definitely not uh, the two coat that you would hope for. Probably have to do three coats on that one. We'll see. All right. I would say next would be the Essie. Um, again, this one, the color was mute on or on mute. But that's one coat. And that is perfection. So I don't need to put another coat on that. So well done, Essie. All right. And then we have the CND. Um, you can see here what I was meaning by that's definitely not the one coat that it claims to be. You can see a little bit of streaking there. So... Definitely not the one coat it claims to be, but it's still a pretty color. So I don't know that I would get this brand often with how expensive it is and it not being one coat, but uh, we'll get it every once in a while if it's a color that I love and can't find in other, other brands. Definitely a two coat though. It's a pretty two coat. Very muted gray. All right, and then go ahead and put that lid on. And then the final one is the Denim Blues from C&D. And again, it's not quite the one coat that it claims to be. Still, just I love this color. This is probably the one color that I would keep buying from this company. Um, unless I could find a similar color in another brand because this denim blue is just beautiful. I love that. It's a really pretty fall blue. Very muted grayish blue. All right, so there's that. Let's check on the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. That's still a little bit wet. So I've never done a matte coat before, but we're going to go ahead and try... A matte coat on my nails doesn't come with any instructions so I'm assuming that you just simply brush it on I don't know so hopefully if 
not, I guess we'll be taking it off and trying something else. Oh yeah, that's definitely, definitely dry into a matte coat for sure. I don't know how I feel about matte coats, quite honestly. It's very, I'm used to the shiny, shiny, as you guys know. My favorite top coat is the Sally Hansen Big Tiny Shop Coat, or Big Shiny Top Coat. I love that one. Um, I think it's just beautiful. So this matte is going to probably take some getting used to, but... I wanted to try the matte and just see how it worked. You can already see as it's drying that that's definitely going matte. If you compare that to my finger that doesn't have the top coat on it, definitely going matte and drying rather quickly actually. So that's a plus, especially when I'm in a hurry and need to run out the door and get to work. It's nice to have that uh, quick drying top coat. All right, there's the one hand. There's the non-matted. I kind of like it. I'm not, not going to lie. Um, I might actually stamp like a fall leaf on here. I think that would be really pretty on the mat. I can see where I missed a little bit. Right there near the cuticle. There we go. Alright, do the other hand. And then we'll do a third coat on that mellow yellow color. There we go. Definitely a different look for me, but I don't mind it. I could get used to it. I have a friend that she uh, does the matte top coat a lot on her nails. Uh, she goes and gets her nails done. She does the gel nails. She only does them about every eight weeks, and so they grow out quite a lot. But she likes the, the matte top coat. So she kind of inspired me to, to try it. Thanks, Canyon. Um, kind of inspired me to try the matte top coat and just see what I thought about it. So I think I definitely will add, um, add a, a stamped leaf to these. I think the muted brown is kind of screaming for some leaf stamping. Maybe some gold leaves, a couple of little gold leaves or something just on the accent nail and maybe the thumbnail. But I'm really liking that matte top coat. It's actually very pretty. Kind of surprised. All right, so let's do the final coat on the Sally Hansen and see if that works. I got a little bit of coral on it because it was right next to the coral swatch stick, whoops. Okay, I think three coats is going to work just fine on this. Try to cover up that coral there. There we go. Alright, and then the other thing that I wanted to do was take the CND. This is the CND Vinylux Longwear Top Coat. It says that uh, this is what you want to put on top of the CND nail polish because uh, that will give it the gel look. This is not quite dry yet, so I'm going to wait just a little bit. But, all right, there we go. I really do think I'm going to add a couple of just little gold leaves. I think that would be really pretty. What do you think? Hmm. All right, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry a little bit, and then I'll come back and put on the top coat here and see what we think about it. I don't know. These colors are quite pretty. 
kind of like in my my haul here today all right so i'm gonna uh let these dry put on the top coat on the cnd um and then maybe stamp some some leaves on my nails hmm we'll see <laughs> 